lot, a lot of students that I deal with and that I, I mentor and that I, I teach are, are accountants. And um, by nature, we are a little risk averse and <laughs> not entirely thrilled with change, breaking routine, uncertainty, taking risks, etc., etc. So the fact that um, Richard and I are packing up and moving to Montenegro and have done so in a fairly short space of time um, is very contradictory to to what people understand your classic accountant is or like or does or whatever the case is uh, and I think so a lot of students and a lot of people have sort of said oh but this is just who you are Yvonne you know you're clearly you, you know you're clearly this type of person you're a natural entrepreneur because you know we're working for ourselves and we're building our own businesses online so you must be the risk taker entrepreneur comes easier to you you like change so as part of you know part of this discussion I uh, introduce Daniel and my cat Thunder who clearly also has something to say in the whole affair so Daniel is one of my oldest friends I have known him since um, I was a teenager 1995 okay let's not <laughs> <laughs> to be precise we don't we don't have to be that precise about the whole thing <clears throat> we go back quite some time so of all the people that have known me for throughout you know school college studying work daniel actually was you were at one of my graduations yeah. You came to one of my graduations. I also yeah. took you to your matric farewell. You took, me to, you took me to my matric farewell, that's right. We won't be showing the photos of those. Like. <laughs> Not good PR for you. Guys. Not good PR. <laughs> me packing up, moving to Montenegro, working online, building my own business, not having a 10 year plan. Um, is this the bond? that you knew and grew up with? The, the bond I knew was a back to the figures ago go by an alien. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I mean, you were always at being somebody who, who wants to take measured decisions, measured steps, with one, and had planned out a lot of parts of your life. Yeah, and very planned. And felt very uncomfortable when there was uncertainty. Too much uncertainty. Yes. Don't like change of routine. Although I'm not a huge routine person, you know, you, you wouldn't look at my life and go, okay, every morning I do this, 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 and this. I'm not massively driven by routine, but change makes me extremely uncomfortable. Uncertainty. Um, I wanted to be a chartered accountant from the age of seven. It took me until I was 28 to qualify. And even though everything shifted, you know, nothing worked out the way I planned. I still like stuck to that goal, you know, like like cement. So um, only after I qualified, as you say, like it's like someone abducted who I was, um, and the the experiences that I've had have kind of one by one by one kind of helped to develop I'm a little bit more okay with being uncertain. Not having a plan. Being able to live with ambiguity. <gasps> yes. But that's that ability to live with ambiguity is an important skill to develop. So whether yeah. you're naturally inclined to go yeah. that way or not, yeah. if you if you're too much on the side of I want uh, fixed points in my life, that's fine. Structure and yeah. yeah. Well points are fine, which you can navigate between, but you need to be able to deal with Things you know, living yeah. in between two points of polarity, and I think that's what you needed to move towards. I'm, I'm, I'm exactly the opposite of you. I needed to move towards more structure yeah. and more uh, having more defined. Yeah, you know, for, for 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 me, Richard, you know, my, my husband had a huge part to play in it because we're we're really 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 different. The idea of packing up and moving without a, it's not like we have a job over there that we're going to, we're taking our business that we're building and we're just going to go and do it over there, which is great. You know, the fact that you can do that with technology is amazing, that super just about that. Um, and if I can do it from, you know, my kitchen 
in Cape Town, like why can't I do it from a coffee shop in Italy, sure. you know, or a coffee shop in Montenegro? So that's the theory. <clears throat> there is no five-year plan. There is no ten-year plan. May I ask how long your plan is? What's your what's your time horizon? Oof. Are you willing to share? Am I willing? <laughs> <laughs> Part of me it's feels short term, right? it's short. Part of me feels almost like a this is irresponsible, and maybe that's the balance of you know. Of, of that balance of me going, this is this is irresponsible. Like you shouldn't be doing this. You can't just pack up and leave. So we have a we have a we the beginning is like a three months. It's a three month thing, and within those three months, we want to um, get some form of stability and either stay in Montenegro or find you know or, or, or move somewhere else. But the starting point, we have a plan for three months. What comes after that, I have no idea. Richard doesn't have any idea. We, we're really going to see how it works out. We might be back in South Africa. Um, or we might, you know, go somewhere else. We might, you know, the, the idea is to work, um, to do what we do and be able to travel. So we want to go and spend the week in wherever and do the work. But there is no plan. There is no plan. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there is a plan. There's a the so plan. Yeah. There's there's a roadmap, shall we call it that? I mean, you yeah. don't your 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 funds and your uh, yes. ability to eat and, and, and move yes. doesn't end at three months. Okay? No, 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 no. So there's a roadmap. No, we have operating capital. But you've got a three month frame to within work, yes. and then you can. And, and this is such an overused term, but this is gives you opportunity to pivot. Yes. Um, it gives you agility. I like that word. Yeah, it's We're really pivoting. good. So you, you, you fix, and if you need to move, you can move. Yeah. Um, but you need to take a step in yeah. order to create a point that you can pivot from. As a, as a professional, it's really easy to get caught up in money. You know, we have a cliche, time is money, or time sure. is more important than money, but very few of us actually live and make decisions on the basis of the truth of that, you know? So I think, you know, also around my health stuff last year with, with the breast cancer and, you know, coming through that with Rich and I, the, the idea that, like, what is it we really want out of life? Both of us are professionals, we're both qualified, we both have great skills. Um, do we want to work in corporate, build a big business, build business, and then get stuck in the corporate cycle? And asking ourselves, like, what do we really, really, really want was a lifestyle where we could spend a lot of time together because we really enjoy that, work flexibly and be location neutral so that we could work anywhere, you know. So, that, that, that so you had to travel. clarify your real values. Absolutely. Right? We had to clarify our objectives. And I think um, it's so easy to fall into the trap that as a professional, your objective has to be building your corporate, you know, climbing the corporate ladder or, or whatever. And I think um, the the, the the great thing or one of the things that makes me feel more comfortable about this process is that we, it's not, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm 22 with, with no experience and I'm just going to like run off and hope for the best. I've got a lot of skills behind me. So, you know, if, if I, if something happens, if this doesn't work out and we come back um, or we go anywhere, I, I have a really good CV. I've got great skills. I've got stuff. I am employable. If, I can't make this work for myself or I decide I don't want to. I, you know, if I go to a company and say, I'd like to work for you, no one's going to look at my CV and go, oh, you tried to work for yourself and that didn't work, you're a failure, I don't want, you know, like, I don't want to hire yeah. you or whatever the case is. But, like, how many of us, we're genuinely trying to live now so that when we get to, you know, to being older, we don't say, oh, I wish that I work less because that's what everybody says. You're going to get older and you're going to wish you work less, but, but are you actually making decisions sure. now to do what you want? And I read such a good thing a while back and I'm going to like, cluck, like it cluts it up totally because I can't remember the exact phrase, but the basic idea was like a successful career is one that you don't feel you need to escape from. I don't need like to escape on holiday from, you know, from my career. Sorry, my cat. She, she also believes the same things that I do. And she just wants to let you know that. Yeah. And you're taking them with you. And then, yeah, the cats are coming with. I've had a lot of people are very concerned that my cats, like what happened to my fur babies, they're coming with 
um, at great cost and expense. Um, I, I just say it. Disney and cats. Yeah. Says, yeah, says him, like, major cat lover. Mm, I can so see that happening. The, the, the point, you don't have to be born an entrepreneur. No. You don't have to be born... And it's not irresponsible. But it, it is definitely a good skill as a professional to build Absolutely. agility, pivot, take a few steps, correct, what if, yeah. what if, what if. But I think what you and Richard have allowed for one another is to challenge each other's yes. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. lifestyle preferences right. and then to actually allow one another to grow yes. into something bigger yeah. than a simple yeah. uh, box, yeah. if you will. I, 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 I totally agree. I think I've grown and changed more um, after I qualified been in my entire life. I think I was so focused on one goal to the exclusion of everything else that it, I never paid attention to, I never had hobbies. Who's got the time for hobbies? Like, who's got the time for interest? I was never interested in anything other than qualifying. And then you qualify and there's this big hole in your life where all your mental energy was going. You know, now the mental energy is, you've got the qualification, you've got the job, now what? Like, you know, oh, actually I am creative, let's explore that. Yeah. Actually, like I do enjoy drawing. Let's explore that. And so Richard's, again, another interesting contrast between him and you is you naturally sit in the head centre. And we, we've yeah. spoken about yeah, it before. Yeah. He's, he's closer to the action. He's very much a, a, a strong thinker. Oh, yeah. But, but he's, he's close to action. Yeah. So he wants to he wants to take action and then see the results. Yeah. You know, you want to think it through, reason it through. I want to know what's going to happen before I yeah. take action. But, but life, life, <laughs> life is not, doesn't not work like that way. Yeah. Life doesn't work that way. And you also have some um, some strict criteria with this move, right? You had, I do. You had one year, as far as I understand. So there was a compromise that was... was yeah, the there. cats are coming. What's the compromise? Well, the cats are coming. Well, well, your husband didn't actually want to live in a beautiful apartment. He wanted something else, a little bit more rustic. <laughs> A little bit closer to the to nature. To right? nature, yeah, yeah. I think R Richard kind of fancies himself a little as a farmer, for oh, yeah. a little. So he wanted to go and like live in the mountains. Yeah, that and was I'm the like, one option, and the other option was. Oh yes, <laughs> he wants to go sailing. He wants to go live in a boat. Yeah. And, and yeah, that scared the crap out of me. Richard wants to go live in a boat. But you're right, because once he thought of the idea, he got all excited about it. And um, we spent, he spent weeks watching YouTube videos and YouTube channels on people living on boats, live aboard. And, and there's stuff. a lot of them. And there's a lot more mm. than you think. Mm. And um, we went for sailing lessons. So in, in light of this idea of like, let's consider doing live aboard in Europe, um, he took us for sailing lessons. Richard, who gets very horribly seasick and car sick. I mean, he gets car sick. So sick. Um, we thoroughly enjoy the sailing lessons, but sailing in Cape Town is not the same as sailing in Europe, kind of like Europe, you know, Mediterranean, flat ocean. Yeah, throw up, throw yeah, up, throw up. Stuff, yeah. Anyway, it was fun. It was great. So, yeah, there is – Richard is very keen to, to, to do liverboard, the, the liverboard idea. Um, I am – not as sold on it, but the compromise is that if we get if if we make lots of money, then it's got to be a really good boat, really nice and big, can stand up straight in. <laughs> and then then that one that 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 that, that I'm prepared to do because that would be awesome. Yeah, everybody's dream. Everybody's dream, like actually like live aboard a yacht and do you know do online stuff and do do like, like do our work from. And then, you know, dock in at Venice and then Greece and Santorini. You know, it would be amazing. Yeah. But you, So you might get there. We may. But you, you're putting yourself into a position where you're far closer to being able to pivot yes. to the, something. Yeah, the possibility yeah. is open. Yeah. A, a few years ago, it would have been a flat out no. That's just absolutely not going to happen for whatever reason. Now, I'm like, there is a small possibility that that actually would be really cool. Could you be. know, could be really, really cool. And you could you could invite your lifelong. Friends. I could invite my lifelong friends who think I'm Amy retentive <clears throat> to to come and stay with us. Yeah. So um, moral of the story: who you are isn't who you're always going to be, and 
who you are while you're working and qualifying isn't, you don't have the time to really develop who you are and who you want to be. Um, and the world is, as a professional, the world is a lot more open and there are a lot more opportunities than we realize. We think that the opportunities are like there's a lot of positions and a lot of CVs and a lot of vacancies, but there's a lot of opportunities we can create for ourselves. Absolutely. Um, that have, you know, that can create quite quite an interesting life should we decide should we decide but I wasn't born like this I didn't yeah. come out the box <laughs> 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 I come